Have we got any beer in the fridge? Oh, what's this? Hapless Fuckwit version 2. Hmm, let's give that a try. Guys, I do actually, under normal circumstances, function uh, as a normal human being. <laughs> Choppers. Oh, that would have been brilliant if that chopper actually works. Uh, you got to try that again because we all want to see that little chopper hit the balloon. Uh, or bomb, should I say, beer bomb. Please try that again, hapless. Uh, so home brewer of the week, if you haven't guessed already, you know, that prestigious title obviously goes to hapless ginger brew because Look what happened. Look what he sent me. Oh yeah. My first ever beer mail. So you know guys, if, if you want to be home brewer of the week as well, I'm easily bought. So I can't remember when you, you bottled this, but I don't think it was that long ago. So this probably is a couple of weeks early. Um, but I've seen you You've been drinking them, you've been enjoying them. So, you know, I'll give it a try. This is a wit beer. Ah, bottle date. 15th of August. It's my birthday. Brew date, 7th of August. So, yeah, it's a couple of weeks old. Original gravity, 1046. Final gravity, 1010. ABV. 4.73, not bad, IBU 24.72, SRM, what's SRM? 3.65, so cheers Graham from Hapless Ginger Brew, I'm going to give this an honest review, um, but I'm going to be kind, because I know, I don't know, you, you, you started not that long after I did, uh, so I know this is still one of your early, earlier brews, and I'm not expecting much from this, <laughs> if I'm honest. Because <laughs> I say that because I know what mine tastes like. Um, and they are getting better. Uh, and, you know, the, the second, the third, you think, oh, this is alright, this is alright. And then as the more you brew, the more you realise they were shit. Um, but I think I'm getting better. I'm not quite confident enough to send beers out just yet. Although that Nilsson Sorvin beer I brewed was, was pretty tasty. Uh, I've pretty much drank them all. <laughs> so that stout you saw there in my previous video, maybe some of you will receive that, but don't know. We'll see what it tastes like. Uh, about that previous video, I, yeah, so that, that I, I, I apologise for that. I, I just could not be bothered could not be asked to speak to the camera. I was having a pretty busy day anyway. Um, I was kind of multitasking, cleaning the, f cleaning the house, uh, and I was trying to figure out the new equipment there. Um, just trying to get all my calculations right, and you know, I wasn't sure did the, the little um, immersion heater hob thing that I've got wasn't sure whether to do 2,000 watts, 2,500, 3,000, so I was mixing it up a bit. I wasn't too sure there. I'm going to have to stop for a bit. Alright, she's just got home. So I've asked her to leave me alone for 10 minutes. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know where, what I was talking about. Um, I have no idea what I was talking about. Anyway, that yeah, I had a pretty frustrating brew day. I couldn't be bothered to film much, um, so I, you know, I put together all the clips that I had and trying to put music in the background to try and make it a bit more watchable. It's a load of shite. Uh, so moving on with this beer. Here we go.
It's not a gusher. That was a good hiss. Mmm. Smells. Can't tell yet. The moment just smells like beer. <laughs> so, I've got here. This is a. Uh, a Schoffer. How do you pronounce that? Schofferhofer. Schofferhofer. Beer glass that my girlfriend stole a couple of years ago. From, from Berlin, uh, her sister was out there for a few months. Um, she went there and she came back and brought me home a few glasses. Happy days! Too fast. It's well carbonated then. That looks good. <sighs> Not gonna say anything yet. So, as you can see there, it's very well carbonated. It's uh, four fingers. <laughs> okay, I, I may have poured that badly, but anyway. Put a bit of ice cream foam on the top. So, hapless. It's well carbonated. Very well carbonated. It's a lovely colour. It's very clear as well, actually. Very clear. Nothing in there. Absolutely nothing. Let's dive in. I tell you what, hapless. I'm really impressed. I, 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 I thought this was going to be disgusting, if I'm honest. Um, that's spot on, buddy. Spot on. And I, I do drink wheat wheat beers and wheat beers, you know, the Franz and Franz and Canner, whatever they call it, and Erdinger and all those beers. Yeah, I've had quite a few in my time. And that is a very refreshing drop, I have to say. <coughs> Bloody hell, and it's well carbonated. Maybe a bit too carbonated. That's my only criticism there. Um but that is spot on. So I am getting some sort of orange aroma. Tropical? No. Citrus. A kind of whip beer aroma, <laughs> to be honest. It 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 smells smells like a whip beer. And the taste, spot on, really is. I'm actually, yeah, I'm actually quite jealous that you've brewed something as good as this so early, because this is a lot better than a couple of my earlier beers. Mmm, the 
think I might have to brew a wit beer. Actually, can you send me the recipe? Um, I know you put coriander in there. Which I um, can't taste. I'm looking for it, but... Yeah, maybe it's there. Kind of bitter at the ends, at the ends, the ton. It's not too bitter, it's quite a... It's quite a... It's just a refreshing pint, lads. Um, that's what I'm going to say about it, because, you know... Well done. Well done, Graham. And thank you so much for sending my first ever beer mail. I really appreciate it. Like I said, guys, if anyone else wants to send me anything, uh, feel free. Uh, just send me a message and send them my way. Cheers. Oh, actually, before I go, I wanted to, to, to say... Um, so I was shopping online the other day. And let me just find it. So look at that. For bargain of the century, 40 gold ground caps, one penny. As you can see there, it's out of stock. <laughs> the reason why, uh, I bought the lot. I don't know if it was uh, an error. Um, I don't know. Um, but they said they had 10 in stock, so I've just bought four, 400 gold caps for 10 pence <laughs> 10 English pennies that's all it costs and if you want to know where I got that from it does not focus there you go discountbrew.co.uk absolute bargain Yeah, so, again, Graham from Hapless Ginger Brew. A nice label, by the way. Really nice little labels. Um, fair play, because that is one refreshing pint. And I'm enjoying this. And yeah, please send me the recipe, because I, I, I would like to brew this myself. This weekend, I'm going up to see a friend in Leeds. Uh, we're going to go to the Leeds Beer Festival. I'll try and film some, but I'll probably be absolutely pissed. So, it'll be a mess. I might put together a montage of messy footage, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that turns out. So I know Yorkshire Homebrew is going to be there. So, I, I won't arrange anything to meet up, because you know what it's like. I, I don't want to waste your time, you don't want to waste my time. But if I bump into you, I'd definitely, you know, spend ten minutes talking about homebrew with you. And if there's anyone else in the area who, who wants to come along, I'll happily, you know, have a drunken chat with you. So, till next time, guys. And again, thanks to Graham. Cheers. Please.